Hi boys and girls, it's Mrs. Summers. It's Tuesday. Today's story is, Have You Got My Purr? by Judy West, and it's illustrated by Tim Warns. Kitten was sad. She could mew, she could hiss, and she could yowl, but she couldn't make the noise she liked the best. She couldn't purr. Mother, she said, I think I've lost my purr. Little one, her mother replied, you will find your purr. Just wait and see. Wait? The determined kitten sat out in search of her purr. She decided that dog might have it. Dog? Kitten asked. Have you got my purr? She climbed onto his belly to listen closely to his answer. Woo! Woo! said the startled dog. I have a woof, not a purr. Why don't you ask a cow? She may have it. So Kitten went off to do just that. She found a perch next to the paddock and the very near to the cow's head. Cow, Kitten said, looking her right in the eye. <gasps> have you got my purr? Dog says you might. Moo, moo, said the cow. I have my moo, but no purr. Why not ask Pig? Kitten slid slowly down the tree and scampered over to the pig pen and up the fence. Pig, have you got my purr? She called over the snuffling of the piglets. Oink, oink, said Pig. I am sorry, dear. I have only my oink. No purr. Why don't you ask the ducks? They are a noisy family. So Kitten followed the sounds of splashing and found the ducks enjoying their day-long bath. Ducks, I have asked dog and cow and pig, but they don't seem to have it. Do you have my purr? Quack, quack, said the ducks. Does that sound like a purr? We quack. One duck offered kindly, why not ask Mouse? This would be tricky. Hmm. Really tricky. But Kitten really wanted her purr back. She scooted over to the mouse hole. She got down on her belly and wiggled through. Don't be afraid, Mouse, said Kitten very quietly. You see, I'm searching for something. Have you got my purr? Squeak, squeak, said the mouse nervously. I have my squeak, Kitten, but I do not have your purr. Have you asked? I mean, she? A little discouraged and very tired, Kitten hung her head and wandered over to the field. Sheep. Hmm. I've lost my purr. Mouse says you might have it. Have you got my purr? Bah, bah, said Sheep. I haven't got your purr, little one. My old ba is all I have. Why not ask Owl? So Kitten stumbled sleepily over Owl's tree and said, Owl, oh, I've searched all day and I'm so tired. Have you got my purr? Hoo, hoo, Owl said. Silly kitten, I have a hoot, not a purr. Why don't you go back to your mother? I'm sure you'll find your purr there. Kitten couldn't believe it. Has mother had my purr all along, she wondered. She rushed back to the barn to call out her question one last time. Mother, have you got my purr? Oh, sweet thing, said her mother tenderly. No one can take your purr, it's inside you. You hear it when you're happy. Come here and listen. So Kitten snuggled next to her mother and suddenly, there it was. The dog did not woof, the cow did not moo, the pig did not oink. The ducks did not quack, the mouse did not squeak, the sheep did not baa, the owl did not hoot. They all watched from the door and listened silently to the most perfectly purr they had ever heard. Purr, purr. The end. Have an awesome Tuesday, boys and girls. Bye.